Hey guys, it's Brenda Lee Turner from LeanSecrets.com. I'm so excited. Today, we are talking about how to make vegetables taste really good. Watch the cucumber. Los All the vegetables. Envy their friend. We've got our cut vegetables that we cut earlier. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut an onion. So eat your vegetables and you will grow real strong. Who doesn't like salad and veggies? Well, okay, not everybody. But Josh McGuire of the nonprofit Kitchen Community is willing to take the chance that these students at Arvada K-8 will embrace the idea of veggies growing right outside their school. We're going to be planting radishes with our garden educator, Gardener Brin. Everybody give Gardener Brin a round of applause. Gardener Brin, everybody. The Kitchen Community, which is a national organization, awards specially designed raised gardens to underserved schools with the goal of connecting students with real food that they help plant and harvest. Our tool to do that is learning gardens at school. So that means increasing access to food at schools, increasing food literacy, and increasing and strengthening community at schools as well. We have an opportunity for kids to come out here, understand the life cycle of plants, and then also how food is raised and, and produced. I've never had a radish. McGuire and his team bring everything needed, transforming a former stretch of concrete into a place that may eventually be home to not only radishes, but all kinds of produce, with the ultimate goal of growing food that might be added to the school's cafeteria supply. I mean, we have to look at the yield, right, first to see what the scope can be, but the plan is to, to provide opportunities for kids to enjoy the food. Once the planting is done, it's time for a taste of what's to come, introducing the students to the world of kale. One, two, three, go! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. While their reactions to kale may be mixed, the idea of having some place new to explore and learn just a few steps from classrooms has these kids excited. Just watching students for the first time, their eyes brighten up. Now, you know, I may not hear the story of that student going home and telling his mom what he did, but knowing in my heart that that's probably going to happen. I know it's going so much further beyond me and that ripple effect is just huge and that just gives me goosebumps to talk about.